Hey everyone, Anna Kruger here. And today we're gonna talk about two hacks to help you achieve your goals more easily and have more happy feelings throughout your day. Who doesn't want that? So what are the two tips? So number one, we're gonna use dopamine to our advantage. What's dopamine? You probably know, but in case you don't, it's a neurotransmitter or a chemical in our body that is released when we do something that we said we would do. This is why when you don't wanna to go to the gym in the morning and then you do, you leave feeling so glad you went and that's because of dopamine. Dopamine helps us with our mood, which helps you feel so much happier. It also helps you with your motivation to wanna to keep going and continue getting things done. And it also helps us achieve our goals. The the way that we're going to use dopamine in our real estate career is many of you have contact goals. If you are a real estate agent, it's probably around 15 to 20 a day. And if you are an inside sales agent, you're probably closer to 40 a day. Now, I don't know about you as an inside sales agent, when I hear 40, that sounds a little overwhelming. So one way that we can use dopamine to our advantage to achieve 40 contacts a day is to break it down into smaller goals. If you think about it, if we say 40 contacts a day, that means we don't get any dopamine release until the end of the day when we hit 40. However, if I say I'm instead going to hit 20 contacts before lunch and then 20 contacts after lunch, I now have a release of dopamine before I go to lunch, halfway through the day, and then I get it again at the end of the day. People that break their goals down into smaller chunks are more likely to succeed, and that's because of the release of dopamine. Another option is you could do hourly goals. So some past clients have done things like, I'm gonna talk to six people an hour for seven hours a day. When they do that, it makes it easy for them to have that release of dopamine because every hour that they talk to six people, they're getting a release of that feel good hormone. The more that you can make that happen, the more likely you are to achieve your goals. Cause again, remember it helps your mood, it helps your motivation, and it makes you more likely to keep going in the right activity. So number one tip, find a way to have your body have a release of dopamine through smaller goals throughout the day. The second tip I have for you is to make your goals visual. If you are an inside sales agent, you may have a goal to set 10 appointments a week. One way that you can do that is get it visual and it doesn't have to be fancy. Right here, I just took a simple whiteboard and I wrote 10 all the way down through one. And anytime that you set an appointment, scratch it out. And I like to write the name of the person I set the appointment with over the number. This makes it visual for you. And when you do that, you're 80% more likely likely to achieve your goal. We had a client once who was struggling to set 12 appointments. That was her goal. She never set more than 10. So we had her write her goals like this. She put 12 through one on the board. The next time I talked to her, she had set 14. She had never broken 10, which is proof that getting your goals a visual will make you more likely to achieve it. So to recap, use dopamine to your advantage. Set small goals throughout the day that you can achieve and that will help you feel better and keep going. And number two, get your goals visual to be 80% more likely to achieve them. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video or in class. See you soon.